Hello friends, this video is meant for how MPCB works. I hope you would like it. Uh, so friends, as you can see, uh, this MPCB, I have uh, completely opened it. Uh, after opening the upper cover of the MPCB, you can see this inside view very closely you can see this uh, from every angle so this is how MPCB looks from inside Uh, with this this button which you are seeing you can adjust MPA range as per our requirement say if your MPCB is from 1 ampere to 3 ampere you can adjust it like this as I am moving this like this um, this is the actuator this you are seeing here this black one this actuator this is a biometallic strip uh, which is normally uh, meant for overload protection of the motor yes. and it is provided for all the three phase this is uh, as you can see there is inside a coil type this is meant for short circuit protection uh, when the current increases to in K ratings then it protects the equipment <coughs> as you can see here when the this is uh, when the coil get magnetized it pulls the plunger in and uh, the mechanical arrangement inside will trip the motor protection circuit breaker I'll show you the back side of this you can see at the back side um, the connections you can give power connection three phase power connection to it uh, there is a this you can see here and uh, uh, this is the connection provided at the back of the MPCB as you can see I'm pressing it there's a spring beneath it so as you can see just observe this this actuation right now currently uh, the circuit breaker is in the off position so this white actuator this uh, the white material which you are seeing here is compressing this contacts all three together like this so in the off condition this contacts doesn't make continuity okay so now I am trying to get the circuit breaker on as you can see now I have on the circuit breaker now you see this actuation now the mechanism actuation mechanism here this white thing has gone inside allowing this spring written contacts connecting to these parts here so now you can have the continuity in all the three phases so this spring return contacts are now connecting to the respective contacts of it you can see it's uh, these contacts are hold by a spring Let's see if I take out this one 
can see this. this as you can see here there is a spring inside can you see that I'm pressing it okay I'm pressing it it's coming back pressing it coming back okay so this is how the contacts are made here so suppose if I put it like this you can see the complete arrangement in this way okay now suppose in case of overload protection or in case of a short circuit let's say we have a short circuit or an overload protection you can see uh, just check out the position of the actuation uh, the actuator is a little bit inside so we assume that the contacts this contacts are touching this contacts here okay now I'm trying to trip it okay the circuit breaker trips here as you can you might have heard the click sound of that you can see the position of uh, this actuator now so this white thing is pushing back all these three spring written contacts the spring which is being held by the spring so this is how the circuit breaker works what happens uh, when during the in case of overload this biometallic strip if the current increases in any of the three phases this biometallic strip bends and here there is another uh, mechanism so when it bends it touches it and it makes this uh, arrangement to trip similarly when in case of short circuit this uh, electromagnetic coil it magnetizes and it the plunger the plunger pulls in and it <coughs> actuates the tripping mechanism and hence like this now this is in the trip position you can see okay so you have to normalize it now I have put it into the off position this is the current adjustment again I am telling that this is the auxiliary contact and um, it holds it like this like this it is 